Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Alliance Challenge Runs in the Binding of Isaac. We are going to random, we're going to random Isaac. It's not going to be a challenge run today, it's going to be a vanilla run. Although, of course, in my own defense, as I say every single time, why can't I move upwards? Oh, be I, was, I spawned without being able to see that that was actually uh, a, a locked door because we're on an XL floor. But yes, as I always say in my own defense, every run in the Binding of Isaac is a little bit of a challenge run. Either uh, literally or objectively, you know, because we're... Uh, dealing with uh, randomized elements every single time that can make things more difficult or easier based on basically just random number generators or you know you could say derisively that everything's a challenge run because I'm not very good at the game despite the fact that I've invested like 400 hours into it uh, and that's a little bit disappointing what's crazy to me always when I think about it is like fuck man I've been playing the binding of Isaac uh, almost every day well like on YouTube every day for literally the past uh, almost two years like this this October should be two years uh, and I still have less hours in this, like substantially less hours in this than I have in Dota 2, which I, you know, played for like four months and then quit and now I've been playing again for like two weeks. That is stupid and, uh, kids, don't, Dota 2, don't even once. Uh, it will suck your life away and you'll find yourself in a, a pit of despair and, uh, temporary friendships that, uh, you know, just implode as soon as somebody feeds when they're playing as a carry. Anyway. I'm gonna destroy these blastocysts and then drink away my pain. So, we are... what are we looking for on this floor? Keys! Uh, desperately. If this is one of those times when, uh, I unfortunately could find myself sunk pretty quickly if we don't find keys, uh, on the first floor. That is just the reality of doing business with an XL floor. Thankfully the frame rate, uh, sorted itself out there. Uh, if you're on an XL floor, uh, and you don't manage to get at least a couple of keys, uh, you're gonna find yourself in a bad state moving forward. Uh, it's more money. I guess we should fight the boss right away, so if it's a really terrible item, I could reroll it. It is only pin. I should mention as well that I do have, um... Uh, pinky Eye here, which is actually... It, it gets a bad rap. It's not the greatest trinket in the world, uh, but it does do... Uh, when it manages to proc the poison damage anyway, it does do some serious damage over time. Uh, at least serious here in the early game, and again, I apologize for the frame rate. Uh, it, it's gotten to the point where occasionally, like, there are, uh, novelty Twitter accounts that follow me, like, Flash Frame Rate, which also just sounds like a great name for the worst super superhero of all time. Uh, but they'll be like, it'd be a shame if something would happen to your frame rate today! And then they laugh maniacally, which I'm not gonna do because I'm still a little bit sick and, uh, you know, horse voice stuffed up. Horse voice! You know, H-O-A-R-S, not like, that is also probably the worst impression of a horse you'll hear today, unless you work for Bad Horse Impressions Monthly, in which case, it, do a Reddit Ask Me Anything, because that sounds like a pretty wicked job. He should be dead. We get a speed upgrade, which I will re-roll, to a cube of meat, which was very unexpected. Alright. Uh, we're gonna leave. The only reason I did that right away is because I wanted to make sure, you know, we could use our D6 for something effective. Uh, getting a cube of meat instead of a speed upgrade strikes me as probably a positive, because I think it increases the odds that we'll be able to get a meaningful level of meat cubes, uh, throughout this run. I really did not even realize that it was possible, uh, for a regular or vanilla boss to, to drop cubes of meat even on a reroll. That might just be, like, the random number generator, uh, like, the 1 in 100 or 220 chance, I forget how many items exactly are in Isaac, uh, but yeah, 1 in 220 chance or something just picking cube of meat at random, uh, in which case, Excellent, I guess. Probably gives us a, a greater chance of getting a uh, fourth level cube of meat. We could get a um, fifth level cube of meat, which I guess is just a fourth level and a first level. Uh, but that's unlikely, and to be honest with you, doesn't actually benefit us all that much, I guess, relative to the fourth level. Alright, did not expect to take damage there, but so far this floor's gone well. We do have two keys. Uh, I will be going to the uh, next item room right away here, because uh, I do have... Uh, D6 charge that will be ready. That is our third key, so the shop is definitely a viability as well. Remember, this first floor uh, is likely to be pretty large, so we might as well, uh, you know, take every reroll opportunity that we have the potential to do. Uh, Monster Manuel is uh, a no-brainer reroll. I will go with Harlequin Baby, though. The reason, obviously, I say that that's a no-brainer is because, uh, first off, n even if I had nothing, like no spacebar item, let's just say we have a hypothetical passive D6 that I could use, um, that would be an interesting item in Isaac too, a passive D6, but anyway, um, I would want to reroll Monster Man well, just in the hopes that it gave me either a passive item or a better spacebar item, uh, but combining the fact that I, that it's awful with the fact that I already have the D6, which is pretty good, I will take Demon Baby as well, uh, means that I am not excited at all about the prospect of Monster Man well. One second, I am dealing with my catastrophe here, if you can catch my drift, please just fall asleep on the mouse pad. 
and you will have a happy time, and you're getting a first-hand look at, you know, me playing The Binding of Isaac, something that you don't find noteworthy at all, cats. But little do you know, there's literally dozens of fans out there that would pay upwards of dimes or nickels to see this in real time. Uh, so let's blow up this TNT, and then we will kill this uh, champion version. I don't know if I've ever seen a purple version uh, of the Meat Boy. What's really nice about having Demon Baby is I can just get close to this guy, but stand kind of uh, at a diagonal to him, and he won't be able to actually hit me, but Demon Baby will do a ton of damage. Okay, so what situation are we in right now? We are in the situation where I may want to go to the shop, uh, but the first thing I want to do is... Uh, go to our boss room, we'll fight the boss, we'll have a d6 reroll available. The reason we're gonna do this first is for the possibility of getting either just like an absolute total garbage item. Uh, we did get one more spirit heart here, that's fine. Um, yeah, the possibility of getting just an absolutely total garbage item that we want to reroll. The possibility- Oh, this is amazing! We should be able to get a second level d- or a cube of meat on the first floor. Without abusing any kind of glitch, really, just like randomly through the mechanics of the game, surprisingly enough. Um, but yeah, so we won't reroll the cube of meat here, but we might reroll a deal with the devil uh, to see if we can get something beneficial there. Otherwise, you know, if we end up using our reroll, maybe we won't go to the shop. You know what? I will definitely pick up Spirit of the Night, even though we have no HP upgrades. Uh, I think this is a smart decision. Uh, and with one key remaining, you know what? I'm gonna save it for the next floor. I'm gonna wait till we have some money and we can guarantee ourselves that the shop will be useful. So we have another Curse of the Labyrinth, which uh, essentially means XL Floors in, in slightly more formal terms. Uh, what do we have going for us now? Second level cube of meat already is a very positive thing. Oh man, these pills could be amazing. That is a p tears down pill. Please compensate for it. Luck down. Luck down might actually be a good thing, as we talked about a few times. Um, but yes, uh, what do we have now on this floor that we didn't have on the last floor? Uh, three followers or familiars that essentially do uh, decent damage, especially combined. Uh, the ability to fly. Ouija board or spectral tears, I guess if we're going to be 100% accurate. Uh, less HP, that's the big negative, uh, but otherwise, so, some interesting stuff, and actually we will be able to gain some extra HP. Uh, there we go. Oh, I almost walked into that uh, by way of this eternal heart, which I almost certainly should have waited to pick up, uh, but that's okay. Now, uh, what do I need to move forward? Better damage is a must, especially since, of course, I will be getting rid of the... Um, Oh, there we go. We're going to be able to get the 15 cents. So, you know, with our reroll, we might as well go to the shop straight away. Did I miss some money in there? No. Um, what do we need? More health, more damage, especially as mentioned, because Pinky Eye is going to leave us. Uh, beyond that, I don't know. We're, we're sitting in a pretty decent location. Uh, good tarot cards, good trinkets, uh, maybe a, a special tier effect or something like that. We are going to be... It's kind of unexpected to actually be fighting Greed this early, but, uh, you know, getting him out of the rotation is all right. The only bad news is... Um, that we're, we're really kind of bereft of shops on this run so far because we've only run into XL floors, so it's totally possible that we might only have one more shop uh, over the rest of the game, which would be really disappointing considering the situation that we're in right now. Uh, but let's look for... Uh, that was really tempting. Let's go to our boss trap room because we're here. That is a damage or tiers plus HP upgrade, uh, and I imagine this is going to be a pretty easy fight. I didn't want to reroll that just because, uh, you know, there's the potential for me to get a better item, uh, but it's also very much look looking a gift horse in the mouth. Uh, and... I'm really hoping on this floor, we end up fighting a, uh, I guess that's the other thing that I really should have mentioned a little earlier, but, uh, the other thing we want or need on this run is definitely to fight, uh, Pestilence on this floor. The odds, we can afford to have one floor missing, uh, a, a Horseman of the Apocalypse and still get a fourth level Meat Boy, but I would love to just get the third level Meat Boy up, uh, substantially faster than usual. So yes, it is a little tempting to open up that golden chest, but uh, I think it's smarter uh, as an idea for me to just kind of, uh, you know, save this key and open up an item room with it. Hopefully we will find one soon, because uh, otherwise I'm just kind of wasting potential D6 charges here, or we find the boss room soon. Either way is A-OK -okay with me. Oh, I was 90% sure that I was actually in the blast radius there, but uh, somehow the game's feeling lenient today, I suppose. And you know what, even this is one of those few situations where damage upgrades don't seem uh, like the most important thing to me right away, or the most essential thing. They would still probably be the, the thing that defined my run if I got them, uh, because they would uh, help me out a great deal. Uh, lots of red hearts, maybe we'll find an arcade or something. Uh, but, uh, because of the fact that we have so many familiars, and these familiars are, are allowing us to do some kind of incremental but consistent damage, uh, I, I really feel like maybe we're going to look for more HP or some kind of awesome tier effect. Uh, even like a consistent poison damage would be valuable. So we have already, uh, basically, not, not guaranteed, that's a little bit of a cocky way of saying it, but we've, uh, 
Giving ourselves the chance to pick up two HP upgrades on this floor, which would compensate for the ones that we gave up to get Spirit of the Night. And we haven't even seen the item rooms yet, nor have we seen uh, the boss rooms to see what items they might contain, or the deal with the devil rooms. So, we've got to be coming close to some kind of um, terminal here where we have to find a, a room that would give us some kind of uh, value proposition, basically. But let's see. Uh, still, we continue onwards. We're definitely... Uh, it's an unfortunate situation, because we're going to have to uh, probably be a little less liberal with our rerolls than I would like to be. Man, there are a lot of red hearts just randomly dropping. Uh, I, I usually love to, you know, plan my... Oh, but we do have two item rooms uh, in quick succession here. So let's see, we've got two keys. We can make this work. Three keys, actually. Uh, X-ray goggles. I'm going to see if just one of these warrants a... Uh, a reroll. Hourglass is definitely a rerollable item. Uh, technology, very technology too. Sorry, I should say, very interesting. Uh, I, I like it. That's going to make the end game bosses a little bit harder, but that's okay. Now we do get X-ray vision as well. Uh, I don't know why I looked to see if I wanted to like actually reroll X-ray vision because X-ray vision is an awesome item uh, that is going to make it possible for us to find secret rooms without having to waste bombs to do so. More money, more items, more reroll opportunities. Uh, obviously, a lot of positives going here. And you know what? It looks like we'll definitely be able to get at least one reroll up for this uh, boss. Now, the only bad thing I will say about Technology 2 in our current situation is that, as you can see, uh, despite the fact that we have uh, Spirit of the Night, it's actually not going to... There we go. Uh, what do we find in here? A slot machine. Fantastic. Despite the fact that we have Spirit of the Night, Technology 2 still will not go through rocks, which means uh, I'm, from a defensive standpoint, I'm in a little bit of a worse position because I will always have to be on kind of like a line of sight of the enemy in order to hit them. That being said, I think this is definitely, uh, you know, a, a worthwhile trade. Technology 2 has the potential to allow you to do very consistent damage to enemies, and uh, it, it's almost like an accuracy up because even if you're missing uh, your shots for a while, it doesn't really matter because you can just, uh, you know, very quickly put yourself in a position where you're actually hitting them again. So please don't break away from this area that you're in right now. Oh, that was really poor damage on my part, but that's the first damage you've taken in a while. Maybe even the first damage you've taken on this floor. Um, still just looking for some kind of uh, terminal here where I could hopefully uh, fight a boss, go get my D6 charges back up, and then fight another boss. Uh, more bombs, okay. I would love to get an HP upgrade from the first boss, actually, because then that would allow me to do deals with the devil without possibly jeopardizing the uh, eternal heart. That's what I worry about is that, you know, the deal with the devil will take the eternal heart instead of um, the uh, existing hearts that I have. Okay, first boss, super easy. A little bit concerned that it's not Pestilence, but we could always run into him next. Uh, and we'll see what we get here. HP upgrade is going to be unrerollable. Uh, I don't even know if I need tiers upgrades now that I have technology. I, I never know if tiers upgrades actually cause uh, faster hits with technology. Uh, so I, I tend to just be happy when I get them and have no choice in the matter, but if I got one as a, a boss item here, I do have a choice in the matter. Thank you, Demon Baby, for causing me to lose a, a spirit heart there. Uh, one more bomb fly dead, and uh, we will pick up our HP upgrade and then move on to the next boss room, because I didn't want to reroll that one anyway. So we are not going to be fighting Pestilence. Uh, a little concerned about that, but remember, we only have to... I mean, we can still miss one of these Horsemen of the Apocalypse and still get a fourth level Meat Boy, which is kind of amazing, just through that random reroll that we got uh, on the, the first boss that we had, who I've already forgotten. I guess it was Pin, like a champion version of Pin. Alright, so these guys are uh, very nearly dead, another easy boss fight. As much as I can complain about not getting uh, the... Okay, we'll probably reroll that range upgrade, but... Uh, you know what? Let's reroll these. This is kind of what I was hoping for uh, in the nail. I think the nail is a very smart item for us to take. And we'll just, I mean, the range upgrade doesn't do anything for us, but we're kind of saddled with it now, so I might as well take it. Um, and we don't have any more exploring to do. With two keys, I think I'm, ad I'm satiated. We should just go down to the next floor. <clears throat> But yes, um, as much as I can complain about not finding Pestilence, uh, it was really awesome that we ended up fighting, you know, two of the easiest bosses that we possibly could fight uh, on the Catacombs. Catacombs uh, have a tendency to be a fairly tricky floor sometimes, so I'm pleased with the way things went down. Now, uh, what are the holes in our run right now? Obviously, I don't have a D6 anymore, so I'm kind of just at the whim of the uh, random number generator, even more so than usual. Uh, or more so than I used to be, I guess I should say. More health would be awesome. But really, I guess uh, my priorities have changed uh, towards getting augments for our uh, for our nail. So uh, definitely, the shop is going to be a huge priority for me here. Uh, nail needs nine volts or battery or nuns have it, and the, the sooner we get that, the better. We are obviously like this is going to be our second to last shop anyway. But uh, hopefully, we manage to uh, pick up one of those here. Uh, well, I mean, there is Book of Revelation. So here's the thing: it's in my best interest, I think, to buy Book of Revelations. The Spirit Heart doesn't interest me at all. But, 
Uh, the fact that this will guarantee us a fight against War here and give us a third level Meat Boy is, is well worth the 15 cents. Uh, plus the Spirit Heart that came along with it. So we could have gambled on just getting War, but this is uh, kind of more of a guarantee. So we should at least have a third level Meat Boy uh, awaiting us on the end of this floor. Assuming that, you know, it actually worked uh, the way that it, I wanted it to. Uh, we got more money and more bombs, and our secret room is right here. I kind of feel like we should just go fight our boss right away. Uh, that is Liver. That is a huge HP upgrade. That is an awesome secret room for us. So yes, I, I don't see any reason not to fight the boss right away. It is war. Uh, there is a uh, tinted rock here as well. Hopefully that gives us the small rock. Uh, the speed down from the small rock doesn't really worry me all that much, as you might expect, because, you know, we can fly over rocks anyway, so uh, I should be able to get around that fairly easily. Okay, so the tinted rock has blown up uh, without any influence of my own, which is great. I'm very pleased with that. Uh, and uh, we should have War consistently following us soon, and that's where things are going to get a little tricky, uh, because a lot of my cover, unfortunately, has kind of been blown up by these rocks, but... That oh, he can still hit me! How can he still hit me there? That's crazy. Um, by the same token, how does he get on top of these rocks? I'm losing Spirit Hearts like crazy. Uh, just poison him, run the fuck away, because he's being a real asshole right now. There's our cube of meat, so we do have third level cube of meat right now, which is awesome. We got two Spirit Hearts back as a result of that fight, which is good. Um... And again, 4th level Meat Boy is still definitely a possibility. Now, we are still looking for our item room here. Uh, so, you know, let's not act like this floor is already over, but it, it has been very good to us so far. What are our chances of beating, like, Isaac Blue Baby on this run? Here's the thing. I would love... I, I almost wish Guppy's Paw showed up a little bit later so I could justify using it earlier. Or justify using it later, I guess I should say. Uh, because, or if it was a passive that didn't require me to also, you know, give up my use of the nail to have it. Uh, but we really need some kind of, like, permanent invincibility or, uh, like, vastly improved defense. Because w between technology and third level Meat Boy, uh, you know, Isaac and Blue Baby fire as they're being fired upon. Uh, and, you know, with technology and Blue Baby, or technology and third level Meat Boy, sorry, uh, we will just be firing on these guys constantly. So, uh, it it's gonna be a tall ask. Uh, but for now, I'm, I'm pleased with the situation. Obviously, uh, deals with the devil would be fantastic, even if, you know, we already have technology. But if I could trade technology for a brimstone or a mom's knife, that would be a, a no-brainer. Much like these guys are now no-brainers. Um, and I am looking for a second secret room, which we did just find. We also got a bomb for a key, which is a terrible trade. Uh, but our second secret room contains another HP upgrade, essentially, which I'm very pleased with. And we should be reaching the end of this floor pretty quickly. Uh, what, what are the biggest things that I need on the next floor? Not super greed in the shop would be amazing, because I, I really feel like I need something in that shop. Map, compass, nun's habit, battery, 9 volt, any of those. Uh, would be at least worthwhile. Obviously, there's some that I would prefer over others. In particular, 9-volt uh, battery nail or nun's habit. Uh, nun's habit, at this point, would basically be like halved damage. It would be like picking up the wafer or something. Uh, and, you know, we're messing a lot of spirit arts here. My best friend is a garbage item, and I'm sorry that we took so much time just to find it. Uh, we might as well clear out the rest of this floor now. You never know. There might be a skeleton key or something in this uh, uh, mop trap room. So he should be dead in any second now. I wish that there was a, an opportunity to get a 5th level Meat Boy. Here's what I, what I think would be great. Either a 5th level Meat Boy option uh, for those incredibly rare situations, and the 5th level Meat Boy gives you the ability to fly. Or gives, sorry, Meat Boy the ability to fly. Or the 4th level Meat Boy just keeps Meat Boy at his existing level of strength, but he gains wings and he can like fly over uh, gaps and stuff. I think that would be interesting and uh, more valuable, because you know, getting from 3rd level to 4th level Meat Boy doesn't really feel that big of an increase. It might be on an objective, like, mathematical level, but I, I don't feel it, you know? Oh, there's our um, secret room. Which is just going to contain six cents for us, so we can't see what's going on on this floor, unfortunately. Uh, but, you know, probably to the surprise of no one, I'm going to play the absolute shit out of this blood bank here. Uh, in the hopes that we get a speed upgrade plus the blood bag. This is going to give us a staggering amount of money, which we can use for judgments later. But the money is not really all that important to me. It is uh, almost exclusively about getting that blood bag upgrade. Uh, and we have enough spirit hearts that I feel like I can do this. You know, get all this money, pop the lover's card, pick up all of our hearts that are around here, and then just continually go... Uh, go to town like this, because I expect that we'll get a lot of red heart drops, and you know, if I have to come back here a little bit later, maybe I will. Uh, this also sets the stage for possibly the greatest money equals power of all time. But anyway, uh, we are now at 67 cents. I'm not sure if that increases the odds of finding greed in the, uh, shop. I think that they can't... I don't think they roll whether greed is gonna be in the shop. Oh, I can't believe I didn't get hit, get hit there. Uh, they don't they don't roll whether greed's in the shop at the time when you walk in, I think, because they have to like plan the and they being like the 
completely uh, autonomous level designer, but they're uh, like automatic level designer. Um, but it, it it has to be on a floor where there's no other uh, mini bosses. So I guess it has to be known before you actually go in. But I, I believe the odds of you encountering greed or super greed are augmented indeed uh, by the amount of money that you have. So uh, I don't know if we increased our chances or not there. We do have a... Uh, Here's the thing, I don't necessarily want to go to the item room straight away when I only have one key and might be better served going to the shop instead. That being said, I also don't want to forget that we haven't gone to the item room and, uh, you know, we're here and I just totally accidentally did that and I mean that legitimately. This is great, we got uh, a damage upgrade and a health upgrade in the form of Fat Odd Mushroom, two more Spirit Hearts as well. So even if we don't get to go to the shop, I'm fairly pleased with the way that this worked out for us. Our dude is, like, kind of slow right now, uh, so that Blood Bag upgrade is looking more and more tempting as time goes on. That being said, uh, damage upgrade feels important, maybe not essential, but important, and the, the health upgrade is always nice if we can at the very least find a way to, uh, you know, get all of our heart containers back. Or trade them to Satan, you know, either way, I'm okay with it. Uh, we got a little bit of extra health back, we got our boss room, which we can't get involved in yet. Now I'm like, fuck dude, forget mom's knife, just give me money equals power, that would be like a five... I, I, again, I can't remember, I guess I'll have to wait for Bizsnap to tweet me after he watches this run, but I can't remember if money equals power is 0 0.5 extra damage per 10 cents, or if it's 1 extra damage per 10 cents. If it's 1 extra damage per 10 cents, uh, that would be absolutely staggering with 78 cents. I was also told, and I'm not sure if this is legitimate or not, that um, money equals power actually, in contrary to popular belief, does not have a cap on it. Uh, where, you know, after like 50 cents it stops being useful. Which is amazing, because uh, obviously that makes it uh, substantially more viable uh, and substantially more valuable as well in our current position. So we will continue picking up money here, you never know. Maybe we'll get a judgment card or something and he'll be particularly greedy. We definitely want another key at some point. Uh, the hearts are valuable. I'm not joking, by the way. If we get... Uh, more hearts, uh, I will definitely, even if we don't get more hearts, I'm gonna go back to that blood bank because I, I really feel like our odds of winning have to be at least half decent. Now, I do have a speed downgrade, or sorry, not a speed downgrade, I do have a, a luck downgrade, I think, which might be uh, causing me to suck. Did I get a luck downgrade? That was in one of those pills that we had right after the first floor, I think. Uh, so Chubb's gonna die here. He dropped a spirit heart. I was gonna say, thanks for not dropping a key, asshole, but actually, maybe this is okay. Uh, there's another eternal heart here. Which is fantastic, another HP upgrade essentially. But I can't get into the shop, and that worries me. Worries maybe is a strong word. Uh, we have so much money though that I could probably uh, earn. Oh, this is real tempting as well. Okay, well, we. Oh, he took the eternal heart. I'm an idiot. Um, I'm doing this. I don't know why I'm doing this. Luck down? Do we. How do we want to do this? Let me think about this. Yes, we should play the Demon Judgment because the items that he could give us are substantially better than the items that the Blood Bank would give us. Uh, so we're gonna play it one more time, and hopefully we'll snag an HP upgrade in here. It is an HP upgrade, so the, the, I'm excited about getting the HP upgrade, but I'm more excited about the fact that, um, I'll have two more plays on this Demon Judgment to possibly pick up an amazing item. Uh, if I had known that there was a Demon Judgment on this floor, I definitely would have saved all of my heart containers, uh, to give to that, as opposed to giving them to the Blood Bank, where I could only snag a measly HP upgrade. Uh, whereas, you know, by way of Demon Judgment, I could possibly get something amazing. I could even get an HP upgrade. Uh, I, I could also get something truly awful as well, but, um... We're, we're basically done with this floor. All we gotta do is kill Mom, uh, and I'm just trying to make the best, uh, by gambling of the, uh, possibilities that we have awaiting us. Uh, I kinda wish we didn't spend so much health, uh, but I really, really thought something would've panned out for us. Uh, so forgive me for being an idealist, I suppose. Now, I wish we got a little extra health there as well. We didn't. But, uh, we got a couple more plays on this scum lord. Alright, well I guess now we are gonna go back in here. Uh, and again, I apologize if you're one of those people that hates watching me gamble in this game because it can be kind of tedious. Uh, but I think it's a, a smart idea to go through with it. I did not mean to get that one, I meant to get the one on the right. Uh, but yes, we'll just play this a couple more times because it might as well get a few before, like, walking back and forth. Um, a, a few hearts, that is. And you know what? Why don't we just blow up this uh, blood bank right away? That should give me some hearts. Yeah, that's another one. Maybe we'll win one more heart, and then we'll do this. Um, keep in mind, of course... Ah, oh, more keys. That, that means we can go to the shop now, actually, so I'm, I'm very pleased with this. Um, keep in mind uh, that... Oh, I totally forgot what I was going to say. Oh, keep in mind that I have a luck down, so it's unlikely uh, or less likely that I'm going to win these. Hey, there we go. So we're up to three hearts. Uh, we might be able to buy more hearts in the shop as well, but this gives us five more plays on this Demon Judgment, which could be intensely valuable. Uh, if we got, like, a Guppy's Paw or something in this situation, that would actually be amazing. I'm not sure if it can even show up, given that it's shown up before. Man, this luck down pill! Holy shit! Um, 
Yeah, we might as well play this. We got the money, plus this takes us down to 69 cents. Uh, we're going to make our way to the shop now in the hopes that we can buy a heart rather than taking our time to gamble with it. We just It wasn't even super greed. It was just regular greed, which was kind of surprising to me. I guess I should have uh, an anticipated that this could be an issue uh, because we've been to every room and every secret room, and yet we still did not find... Oh, good, Steam Sale. Uh, we still did not find a... Um, uh, mini boss. So uh, again, it, it's gonna take me a little bit of extra time here than you might be comfortable with, but I am gonna take some more time to gamble a little bit here in the hopes that we get these hearts. Because this demon judgment has been a, a cold bitch mother right now. Uh, you know what? Why don't we use the tower card here just to save us a bomb, but hopefully blow up the. Uh, well, that didn't work at all. Let's just blow up the fortune teller. We got three more cents. Uh, that's just more plays, I guess, and we got a bomb. So. Uh, I guess no harm, no foul. Uh, I can start giving that guy spirit hearts. Believe me, I am more tempted than I would like to admit. But anyway, uh, worst case scenario, I could start blowing these guys up. It wouldn't be so bad if I could just beat mom and then come back in here, but or, or like come back here. But obviously, I, I please just hit this guy. Obviously, I can't because uh, we can't leave after we beat mom. So please don't give me fly love. Please don't give me fly love. I don't want fly love. I want everything else. Oh, of course we got it. All right, well. I guess I can't complain about getting a passive item, although it is kind of a, a shitty passive item. Uh, there's a pill that could be full health. It's a tears down pill. So it literally cannot be full health. Uh, oh, well, that's going to blow itself up. Did we get we got another key out of it and a little bit more money. We have literally one more play on this Demon Judgment. Uh, and then that's going to do it. I don't hold out a lot of hope here. Yep, that was pretty much exactly how I anticipated that shit would go down. Uh, so I don't think that worked out very well. I think you'll forgive me for saying so. Maybe there are some hearts uh, waiting here. I, I have to give them the Demon Judgment at this point. You know, I'm sunk in. Uh, is this... This is a dead end, I assume. Unless maybe we then go upwards on the other side of this and then we fight Mom. So I... Oh, yeah, okay, good. Uh, I apologize for the, the detour here, but by the same token, obviously, uh, I didn't expect things to go uh, as poorly as they did. And I really gave it my all. The only thing that I could have done better there, uh, and you'll forgive me for this, because it's a, a very an easy-to-make mistake, I guess you could say, uh, is uh, I should have explored the entire floor before giving my hearts to uh, the blood bank because then we would have gotten more plays on the Demon Judgment. But to not get either an item from Demon Judgment or uh, th the blood bag there is absurd, in my opinion at least. Uh, I guess in hindsight what I should have done is probably just uh, kept playing the blood bank because it was probably more likely to pay out as time went on. I'm not sure if that's like the exact representation of Gambler's Fallacy or something, but... Uh, Alright, just be cool here. Uh, we're almost done with this boss fight. Blue Mom is always a pain in the ass, and I'm taking more damage than I would like, but we're still doing fine. The kind of uh, fringe benefit of the way that I played this floor uh, is that... Okay, well, the HP upgrade is going to put a, a dent in that, but uh, I was going to say uh, we are almost at, like, permanent Polaroid invincibility already. But anyway, let's go down to the next floor. Long run so far. Obviously, we just got the Polaroid. Uh, we're on Utero 1. So things are going fine. Um... Just be a little scary there, or scared there. I gotta say though uh, that an HP upgrade uh, is actually a little bit secondary in my mind right now. I would much rather have a speed upgrade because I feel like that is um, what's most likely to hold me back moving forward. Here is that uh, you know I'm, I'm lacking the ability to get away from some of these faster enemies. Enemies like Mask of Infamy might be real assholes. Uh, then again, I do have the ability to fly, so maybe I should just stop being a big baby about it and, and just dodge appro appropriately rather than standing in the line of fire. Uh, now, just move out of the way a little bit. I'm still, you know, in terms of our overall possibilities on this run, I'm feeling pretty good. That being said, um, you know, I, I don't know if we're necessarily... I don't have the confidence to say we're strong enough to beat Blue Baby or Isaac. Uh, maybe if we had full health, I'd feel a little bit more confident in that, and we could always get that via a tarot card or a pill or just random heart drops. Um, but I still feel like we're lacking a little bit. I'm not sure what it is. More damage would be amazing. We could get more damage on this floor. In fact, we're in the possible. It's possible, I guess I should say, that we will just pick up the uh, fourth level Meat Boy on this floor, and that would be amazing as well. Um, even only with third level Meat Boy, I'm still pleased with the the fact that we got it. We did only fight two Horsemen of the Apocalypse, so in a way, we cheated the system a little bit, and I I'm pleased with that. Uh, is that a major predictor of our success? Yes, quite honestly, in in lieu of other possible options, I guess it is. Um, Dang, this dude is slow. But Meat Boy, you do some chewing. You can make my life uh, a whole lot easier here. If you just find these guys. Oh, that's uh, something you don't want to bite. You're eating the gristle and none of the meat, my friend. Okay, oh, I, yeah, of course I'm going to get hit because I'm dealing with these assholes. Um, the other thing worth noting is that um, the, the masks act like uh, barriers, basically. So they will not um, let my laser pass through, which is annoying. 
uh, golden chest. Not going to open it specifically because I want to save these golden chests for the, the chest itself, just in case we manage to get there. Uh, from this floor on, every key that we get is a possibility to open a golden chest, but I also don't want to deal with a mob trap room just for the potential to pick up like two cents or something. And we're still picking up money on the off chance that money equals power becomes an option. Obviously, any deal with the devil uh, tickles my fancy right now because we have so many heart containers. We have nine plus uh, refreshing spirit hearts. I mean, I think I've taken less damage on this floor than I've gotten from the, the, the nail. So I, I'm still fine from a health standpoint. It's just I would love to get back to full health uh, and not lose this kind of equilibrium that we have. Or I should say get back to full health before we lose this equilibrium that we have. Uh, because that's going to make things uh, much scarier once that starts to happen. Uh, if I'm missing like 12 heart containers that need to be refilled. Hopefully that made uh, any sense at all. You should be dead soon. And uh, here we are. Yet another dead end. This is why map and compass are obviously uh, very important to us. But, you know, sadly I uh, don't really have much in the way of uh, contingency plans for that. So we're just going to have to walk absolutely everywhere that we want to go. Please kill one of these guys. One of them, yes, thank you, Meat Boy. We actually got a heart out of that. So assuming I don't lose that right away, I'm a happy camper. Uh, just back it up a little bit here. And one more Diglet. We are actually are close to yet another Spirit Heart. Uh, I do not really, uh, you know what, I need the bomb. I need the bomb more than I need the money, at least. Because uh, obviously with 66 cents and uh, literally no judgments except for demon judgments so far uh, I'm not really sweating the money issue so far. I also the only item I bought from the shop uh, And we remember we had uh, two XL floors So I didn't go to the shop on the first floor on the second floor There was greed on the third floor. I bought book of revelations and on the fourth and last shop uh, I ran into greed again, so we had pretty bad luck with our shops so far on this run, but uh yeah, obviously I haven't spent very much money at those, so that explains why I am kind of, uh, you know, floating a pretty substantial sum here. Now we do have our second secret room, so, you know, I guess there are benefits to, uh, taking fucking forever to get through. Now those, uh, guts should die pretty quickly. Uh, also with technology, you know, the other advantage I didn't talk about earlier is an obvious one, infinite range. Which means I can just do stuff like that and not really put myself at that much of a risk. Uh, Trinket is not in, uh, a very useful position for us right now, I would say. So, uh, I guess it's off to the left now, where we should be able to destroy this man very easily. I don't know why I felt the respect was necessary to call this a man. Uh, or, you know, that if I am, you know, imprinting my own kind of sexism on this, it's not necessarily, it could be a woman, man, you never know. I don't see any genitalia here, just because it kind of looks like a, a dick snake doesn't mean it has a dick snake. I apologize for my uh, preconceived notions. We have found our boss room. And of course, we were hoping that this is death, even though the death boss fight is going to be annoying as hell. Please be a full health pill. Bombs are key? I don't know how I feel about that, to be quite honest with you. Uh, let's see who we're fighting in here. That is not death, uh, it is Daddy Long Legs, and uh, I'm displeased with this. At the same time, uh, it should be an easy boss fight. Let's just get Meat Boy over there so he knows what's up. Uh, the reason I, I'm displeased with this is because, oh uh, yeah, I should have known that was coming. Because uh, Daddy Long Legs is just annoying, man. He spends half of his time uh, like impossible or being impossible to hit. That being said, we're doing damage as you can see. We should be done with this very, very quickly. Uh, oh, I can't believe he hit me again. This motherfucker took three hearts off of me. Now, we get the coin purse. Fucking beautiful. I was fully expecting to have Krampus in here, but Brimstone might actually be a huge get for us. So we have technology firing and Brimstone simultaneously. Now, these pills, man, they've been so bad for us so far. Also, how did we get so much health back? What item did he give us? I can't even recall. Um, balls of steel. Okay, and then both of these are locked down pills. Which, again, might be worth taking. I actually don't know. Uh, but we are much stronger now. I didn't actually realize that Brimstone doesn't, like, usurp technology too. It just is additive with it. And that's awesome. So we'll be able to have this technology shots, or these technology shots firing constantly. And we'll be able to launch this Brimstone damage that'll help us get uh, a lot of crowd control done on rooms. It's almost like having a, like a little miniature Brimstone primer while you're firing Brimstone itself. And somehow, how much health does this motherfucker have? Somehow we also got, are you kidding me? That was crazy. Somehow we also got a, a ton of HP back. And it's not like we're doing very little damage. I mean, you saw that we were one-shotting, uh, with Brimstone at least, uh, a lot of these smaller enemies. That Guts dude just had, like, quintuple the average health of one of those dudes. Uh, I mean, we're not doing insane damage, at least in one fell swoop. Uh, but we are, you know, collectively doing a pretty good job of, of tearing faces up here. Um, I, at first I was really concerned that maybe taking Brimstone with technology, like, substantially lowers the damage of one or the other. Uh, and, and maybe it does, but not enough to be meaningful, I think. Uh, as you can see, this is working out alright for us. 
Let's make sure to kill that man. And I, I do want to get the chariot card into play here. I'm just not sure necessarily how to use it. Uh, when I still want to keep that devil card for later. Yep, this is a good situation because uh, we definitely would have taken damage on this room if not for this chariot card. Plus, it's a dead end, so I have to go backwards anyway. Let's see what we've got in here. Uh, enough health to bring us back to full. I should have thought of that room as a possibility. That's a, a second secret room that shows up all the time. How do I feel about our chances now? Shit, man, I don't know. It's going pretty well so far. Um... Now that I have Brimstone, I don't even need the bombs to take out Mom's heart, assuming that Brimstone does enough damage to more or less uh, take out uh, the enemies quickly. In, in one shot, I guess, is the literal uh, metric that we would need, otherwise it's not really good crowd control. Uh, I guess this peep doesn't actually shoot bullets, he only jumps around. And Meat Boy. That's the other thing on this run, is that even if I... Oh, he, he does shoot bullets. Um, even if I'm not doing that much damage, the third level Meat Boy combined with the Familiars, combined with the Brimstone, combined with the technology, uh, you know, it, it's it's a ramshackle way to make a run work, uh, but we are doing enough damage uh, via all of these uh, to feel fairly good about our, our living situation right now. Obviously, more damage increases would be fantastic. Can't always get what you want, though. Is that Brimstone just like weak against champions or something like that? I don't understand. Alright, so he'll be dead in a moment. Uh, another heart for us that we can't use, but the nail has popped. More money, which I might as well pick up. Again, you never know if maybe we'll get a lucky money equals power on the, the chest or something like that. Thank you, Meat Boy, for doing very good work there. And what do I want now? Because we don't really get items from this point onwards unless we find them in golden chests and you know lord knows uh, I would be open to the idea of golden chests at this point Given that I have a uh, you know 26 fucking keys uh, I guess on the chest even something like chocolate milk obviously there, there's the the usual suspects um, Mom's knife quad shot polyphemus stuff like that um, But chocolate milk I think would be a reasonable and good one. Uh, this is a pill that I don't want, I believe. Bombs are key. Ah, you know what? Let's switch them back. I might need these bombs to be more effective on the uh, Mom's Heart boss fight. I think it's a smart decision. I did not get out of the way fast enough uh, for that second one. I, the first one I, I thought I was going to get hit by, so, you know, I, I shouldn't really complain because I kind of saw it coming, I suppose. Uh, and we're going to get more keys regardless, so it's not the end of the world. On this floor, did we uh, amass more health than we lost? I don't think so. That being said, um, you know, we're making good progress. The moon card, totally worthless for us. We're going to save this devil card. We're going to use it against Isaac, and then hopefully we'll survive to the chest. And as, as always, on the chest, anything can happen. All right, now here's the moment of truth. Meat Boy, you got to get in there. I'm going to drop some bombs. We're going to blow up some bombs. Uh, but mostly, I just need you to chew forever. That is your lot in life, is to bite people and just generally be an asshole. Uh, you know what it would be awesome? It would actually be a cube of meat from one of the golden chests, but I don't even know if that's a possibility. Uh, why is Mom's heart disappearing so quickly? I don't know if we've got some kind of weird, like, interaction here that's making it so Mom's heart just disappears the second after it drops the items. Or drops the enemies, I should say. And we're actually doing much less damage than I thought. This Mom's heart boss fight has taken a hundred years. Uh, and I don't know what it is, but I guess every time we end up spending more than ten seconds on a room, our frame rate gets a little wonky. Uh, what an interesting series of, uh, events that we have going on. What an unexpected, uh, happenstance we have. So, Larry Jr. should go. Oh my god, okay. I, I, apparently, I need the bombs to go off before Mom's heart disappears, otherwise, uh, it's just not gonna be effective at all. I do have 19 bombs, so we might as well just drop several in here. I really don't understand. It, it's not supposed to disappear so quickly. Mom's heart is disappearing in like half a second. Is that seriously just like me misremembering how long Mom's heart normally sticks around? Because I don't think it is. But I could be wrong. I mean, look at how much damage we're dealing to these uh, enemies themselves. Maybe I'm just s too slow to drop the bomb in quickly and that's what's causing this? I can't tell. Thank you, Meat Boy, actually, for like catching that bomb halfway through. Oh my god. Mom's heart is firing like more bombs than ever before at a faster pace. Well, um, you know, this fight actually went well. We didn't get hit, believe it or not, uh, despite the fact that I thought we were not screwed, but like, that, that took fucking forever. I don't know what it is, man. Maybe Brimstone plus technology is actually kind of bad. Like, you can see how much damage my Brimstone shots are doing to these low keys. It's not very much. Uh, maybe we'll have to rely on doing damage to the bomb flies instead. 
I, th I feel like I've ended up in a situation like this before, where there was a, a combination of items that I thought were really amazing, uh, th and then, you know, when I actually ended up getting them, uh, you know, logically they seemed really amazing, but then, uh, you know, when I got them, they were actually total dog shit. Not to say that this combination of items we have is, is utter dog shit, but it, it's not looking the great for us on a damage perspective right now. Uh, I am also taking way too much damage, considering I'm on a, a room consisting of two Lokis right now. Now, you get over there, Meat Boy. Thank you. You just bite him, he'll die. We get a nail charge. Makes me feel a little bit better about things. Alright. Like, Brimstone seems to do d uh, damage just fine against smaller enemies. It's only when you end up uh, being against, uh, you know, bosses that life gets hard, I guess. Or maybe I'm just misrepresenting this somehow, but it, that's the way it feels to me right now. Luckily, we will have the Devil card available for the boss room. It would be nice if I had the Nail Charge available for the boss room as well, but, um, you know, you can't always get what you want. So we should be... Very nearly done here. Mostly thanks to this third level Meat Boy, I will admit. Uh, more bombs, more money. Money probably worthless. Bombs might actually come in a good deal of handy. That's probably not the correct uh, way to conjugate that phrase, but you understand what I'm saying. Now, biggest problem here, uh, definitely the uh, bomb flies. So let's just try to take them out from afar. Aladdin 2, the re return of afar. Now, duh! He was just going to say don't get hit there, but uh, again, this is why... If one of those shops contained Nun's Habit, I would have been a much happier man. Hey, we got a damage upgrade for free here. That could be very important as well. As you uh, might realize, Steven is actually one of the better damage upgrades in the game, I think. Ah, my coffee's getting cold. Just give me a second here. Can't afford to forsake the delicious caffeine in my time of need. Now, we do have uh, a secret room here. At this point, I just want to sell all of my fucking items, buy Epic Fetus, and retire somewhere in Georgia, so... Hopefully we manage to get uh, an item in here that is uh, merely a slot machine. And remember, slot machines on the chest always pay out with an item, so I will blow those up, uh, if I remember now, 100% of the time. Slot machines uh, before the chest, still kind of useless sometimes. Uh, or at least not a great value proposition. So this is going to be kind of an annoying room, uh, but once we finish with it... That was what I was waiting for there, that like triple brimstone opportunity. Um, but once we finish with it, we'll probably go back through the um, secret room and check out the upper right. Cathedral's usually a big floor, but it's not that big. And by the way, I'm a little frightened because yes indeed, I can see my spirit hearts now. So I can kind of see my death approaching. We are at 42 minutes into this run, which is uh, a really long one. Especially if you looked at this and saw the items that I had, you would be like, what, did he die like 15 minutes into his first run? Nope, just uh... Weirdly enough, this has ended up being a, a long run for reasons that I would not have originally anticipated. So here's our Isaac boss fight. This is kind of like our, our first moment of truth. Otherwise, the game has been a fairly... It's been a slow time, but an easy time as well. Um, so we're definitely... We need to get Meat Boy in here, even though that's going to cause us to take more damage uh, overall. Sadly, we do not have our Nail Charge, but I did pop the Devil card. We could end up losing this fight, quite honestly. Uh, so le let's not get cocky here. The dodging is going to be the hardest part, especially since I have no, uh, like, defensive items. Uh, and I'm firing continuously at him, and I'm not doing very much damage in my own right, am I? Uh, oh my god, okay, we are hemorrhaging damage like crazy here. We don't have any permanent Polaroid invincibility. The bombs don't even stay, uh, where they're supposed to be. He's almost in the second phase. And what could I have done differently? Now I'm, I'm like, borderline doing a post-mortem here. What could I have done differently to make this run work? Shit, man, I don't know. I, I don't think we made any major mistakes, just kind of weird item interactions. Leads to Brimstone not doing as much damage as I feel it should. That bomb may or may not have hit. We may actually live through this boss fight. It's kind of a tall ask here. We can only get hit five more times, which normally would be like, oh, we can get hit five more times. But, you know, with the amount of damage that we're doing right now, that might be representative of kind of like the average that we're getting hit per phase stage, I guess I should say, and of course this is going to be one of the harder stages of the Isaac boss fight. Please, yes, thank you for doing crowd control and killing the Angel Venus. Oh, okay, we got one more hit, we got a Spirit Heart. We're going to survive. Remarkably enough, we are going to make it to the chest. Now, this is a big moment of truth. We get, uh, homing bombs, not interested. Razor blade, not interested. White feather, not interested. Anarchist cookbook, not interested. Of all the items we could have gotten, you know, as much as I complain about the, the drops that I get in the Binding of Isaac on a fairly regular-ish basis, you have to admit that, uh, you know, oftentimes... When, when I first started playing uh, Wrath of the Lamb on the chest, I was getting awesome items. I was getting, like, uh, Mom's Knife, Polyphemus, etc., etc., and that does still happen from time to time. Uh, but also, 
I have kind of a tendency to get shit on in, on the chest items as well. Like, literally, one of those items that we picked up was actually useful. And it's useful only because it's a passive and it gives us extra bombs. Uh, that I probably will die before I get the opportunity to use. So, you know, just putting it in perspective here. Now, we are going to be fighting War. Um, you know, he did a lot of damage to us earlier on. I would love for this room to drop a cube of meat somehow, but I don't think that is a, a literal possibility. So I guess I'll, you know, stop complaining. Now... Uh, a couple more hits should be enough. Uh, maybe not a couple. Uh, I don't have the speed necessary. You can see him slowly gaining on me. Stop walking. He's just going to kill me. I can't do anything about it. Oh, my God. Kill him. 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 I made up a new word that is... Uh, oh. What a disappointing end to that run, but as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this run, even though I got my ass kicked towards the end. Uh, weird item interactions, but in any case, again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Continue suggesting your own challenge runs. I will do those in the future. And as always, I'll see you next time.